What is up guys, Delboy here. Just a quick rundown of the weekend's boxing. Not going to go into too much detail because there's not really too much to discuss. But regardless, I'm going to go through some of the results. Briefly uh, share my thoughts on the fights. The first fight that I watched, I've just got done watching it. Kalyafai versus David Carmona. Actually a decent fight. Um... You know, Yufai won the fight by a 7th round stoppage. Uh, but, you know, Carmona was live at times. In the first round, he hurt Cal Yufai with a lovely counter left hook. Caught Yufai bang on the chin. And it took Yufai a round to recover. But after the first round, I felt Yufai, he came into it. You know, he started to settle down, landing some good hard shots. And he was in control for the most part. His punches had the telling effect. He actually dropped Carmona four times in the first five rounds, um, but Carmona soldiered through it. You know, he 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 managed to get to the second half of the fight, and he did have some success as well. You know, like in round three, for example, he done a good job of trading with Yafai, landing some good body shots. But like I said earlier, Yafai was always the guy who was landing the harder shots for the, uh, for the most part. He was the guy who was dropping his opponent, whereas Carmona, apart from the first round. You know, his punches weren't having that same effect that your fives were. But um but yeah, he managed to get into the second half of the fight, but round seven, you know, he goes back to his corner and it's waved off, you know, he's taken quite a lot of punishment. Could he have gone on? I don't know, but um but yeah, it is a decent performance from your fight. Exciting fight, I enjoyed watching it. Um, one of your fives more exciting fights because he's had a reputation of being a little bit boring, according to some fans. So this will do his stock pretty good. Again, I'm not convinced Yafai can beat any of the other champions at Super Flyweight. We will have to see. They are also talking about a fight with Roman Gonzalez. Obviously, Gonzalez is coming off back-to-back -back defeats to Saul Rungvisai. So Rung uh, Gonzalez needs to get a comeback win, in my opinion, um, to kind of get his confidence back and see what he's, what he's got left. Um, but Yafai versus Gonzalez is an interesting fight. If you asked me two years ago, Gonzalez would easily beat Cal Yafai, as far as I'm concerned. But we don't know how much uh, we don't know we don't know what um, Gonzalez has left. So that could be an interesting fight. I would rather see Yafai go into unification fights and really test his metal. But maybe they don't feel he's ready for that just yet. The main event of that card was Jirin Ankahas versus Jonas Sultan, and Ankahas won the fight by a unanimous decision. Uh, pretty good performance from a Filipino. Um, he controlled the fight from the first to the last bell. He was always in charge, boxed well. In fact, from what I've seen so far from Jirin Ankahas, I think this was one of his best performances actually. He really boxed well and clearly won the fight. I would like to see him fight Cal Yafai, to be quite honest, that would be a good fight. I would make uh, Jerwin Angahas favourite, I've got to say, but it's a good fight. Also, if anybody's interested, David Lemieux uh, had a comeback fight. He obviously is coming off a defeat to Billy Joe Saunders. He won that fight by a unanimous decision. He was fighting a light-punching fighter in Karim Atshaw, and yeah, Lemieux won every round, uh, dished out a lot of punishment, actually dropped his opponent in the last round and um, just basically completely dominated him, but it wasn't particularly impressive. Quite workmanlike, you know, his typical David Lemieux coming forward, throwing hooks, working the body, being aggressive, trying to make the most of his power shots. But fair play to the guy he was fighting. He was tough, he was durable, but he just didn't have the, the offensive capabilities to keep Lemieux off of him, you know. Uh, the guy had like four KOs in in over 30 fights, so that says it all. But David Lemieux got the win. He lives to fight another day. Where does he go from here? I mean, I, I suppose you could chuck it, uh, chuck him in there with someone like Spike O'Sullivan. That'd be a good fight. But it would gel quite well. Both guys are going to come forward and bang. Um, but I don't think there's too much you can really do with David Lemieux right now. You know, after that one-sided defeat to Billy Joe Saunders, as well as the Golovkin loss, I think his stock's a bit low at the minute. And going to a decision with this guy, not it's not really going to improve it. So if I was hit, his promotional outfit, I'd be looking to put him in there with a similar fighter, someone like Gary Spike O'Sullivan. And um, that, that was pretty much it for the weekend's boxing also. There was also one more bit of boxing actually, um, a prospect by the name of uh, Nayan Bayar, I'm not going to say his first name, he dropped Oscar Eskendon five times to knock him out in three rounds. That was a really impressive performance from Nayan Bayar. 
Um, he was, he's obviously an Olympic silver medalist back in 2012. And he's a good prospect, man. He, he comes to fight. He's got power. And, you know, Eskendon, he's a solid fringe-level contender. And for a young prospect to blow him out like that, I think it's a good look. Nayan Bayar moves to 10-0 with 9 stoppages. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the weekend's boxing. Not too much to, to really look out for, but there's some nice bits in there. And definitely look out for the prospect, Nayan Bayar. You know, really exciting fighter. What did you guys think of the weekend's boxing? Peace.